As regular Why Buy watchers know, a lot of people are interested in buying crossovers, but not everyone necessarily wants to have the exact same one as their neighbor. And that explains the appeal of premium models that fit in between more affordable mainstream and luxury vehicles. For instance, something that's a little bit nicer than a Chevy Equinox, but maybe a little more affordable than a Cadillac X-T5, like this. This GMC Terrain is a great example of that. It's pricier and a little bit nicer than an equivalent Chevy, but it's still not gonna blow your budget. And to add to the intrigue, it has one of the segment's only diesel engines under the hood for improved highway fuel economy. So let's take a look and see if the GMC Terrain has what it takes to appeal to us. How does it look? This is a pleasant looking crossover, though it doesn't exactly break the mold visually. The terrain has a sort of interesting look with lots of chrome up front, big wheels, GMC's signature slightly squared off fender openings, and a floating roofline treatment round back that would be cool if it weren't on pretty much every other new crossover. How's the storage? The new GMC terrain is actually a little bit smaller than its predecessor, so cargo space is, well, nowhere near the top of the class. You get 30 cubic feet with the back seats up, and about 63 cubic feet when you fold them down. But despite that, as we will now show you, there is still plenty of space with the seats up or down to fit all the suitcases you might need for a family trip. Inside you'll find space to store things in this center console compartment, plus at a really handy storage spot up front by the USB ports for your phone. As you'd expect, there are cup holes in the center console, plus more storage space in the door pockets. Is it roomy? Up front, the answer is a definite yes, and even though this terrain has a sunroof, headroom is really good. So too in the back seat, where you'll find a lot of room for adult passengers, as well as the ability to recline the seat back a little bit. How does the interior feel? The terrain's interior has a nice, cohesive design on the dashboard, and there's a lot of nice materials in here overall. It definitely feels like a step up from a Chevy Equinox. This one in particular has things like bits that look like wood and brushed metal and leather in lots of places, but the thing is when you touch them and feel them, you realize that maybe they don't feel quite as nice as in true luxury cars. Still, this is definitely a step up from the segment average in this type of crossover. Is it well equipped? This is a Terrain SLT, the second highest trim level behind the dripping in chrome Denali, so yes. For instance, I have a giant sunroof, heated steering wheel, heated seats, remote start, a power lift gate. You can get this knob on all-wheel drive models for picking between two or four-wheel drive, as well as active safety tech like pre-collision braking and lane keep assist. How's the infotainment system? GMC's infotainment system is great because its graphics are clear, its menus and buttons are straightforward, and its responses are fast. Built-in tech includes navigation, a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, and even a Bose sound system. Is it a good daily driver? Well, let's start by talking about the diesel engine. Like a lot of diesel engines, it really makes itself both felt and heard. Whether you're standing outside it when it's idling or sitting inside, you hear that clatter and rattle that's associated with diesel engines. Maybe you'll be okay with that because of the fuel efficiency, but it's definitely a different type of noise and more noise than you might get in other versions of the terrain. Once you're on the move though, things are pretty quiet and comfortable in here as you'd expect from a premium vehicle. The ride can be a little bit stiffer than I expected at times, but things are very quiet. You get standard active noise cancellation to keep unpleasant sounds out of the cabin. The other thing that you might be curious about on the train is how I like this electronic shifter. Instead of a normal column or console shifter, we've got buttons down on the center stack. And you know what? 
it's totally fine. Yes, I get it, it's different than other automatic transmission shifters, but first of all, GMC is not the only company that's gone to buttons like this. It does free up some space in the center console, and honestly, after the first couple of miles behind the wheel, it just becomes natural to reach down and select drive, neutral, park, whatever you need. So, in general, as a daily driver, the GMC Terrain is actually a very nice place to spend time. It's easy to live with, easy to drive, and pretty comfortable and quiet. Is it fun to drive? Honestly, it's not hugely fun to drive. It's not really very quick. Although this diesel engine gives me 240 pound-feet of torque, so there's a lot of passing power when I put my foot down, it's only got 137 horsepower. It's not really that quick, especially when you get up to highway speeds. And the other thing to think about when it comes to performance, this has a six-speed automatic transmission, whereas other gasoline-powered versions of the train have a nine-speed automatic transmission, so that certainly doesn't help the case when it comes to acceleration. As for the feel of the controls and handling through turns and everything, the terrain is actually very composed and certainly not unpleasant to drive at all. There's nice weight to all the controls, but sporty and fun to drive, I would say no. How's the fuel economy? The diesel-powered GMC Terrain, like its Chevy Equinox sibling, is crazy fuel efficient on the highway. With front-wheel drive, you get 28 mpg city and 39 mpg highway, while this all-wheel drive model returns 28, 38 mpg. Then again, diesel fuel does cost more than gas in some parts of the country, so do your math carefully before deciding if the diesel engine makes sense for you. How much is it? GMC Terrain pricing runs from $26,000 to about $39,000 before options, depending on trim level. This particular tester is $41,000 as tested, which is a fair bit pricier than non-premium crossovers of the same size, and it's not even the fully glitzed out, loaded up Denali trim level. What are the negatives? Well, the terrain is more expensive than an equivalent Chevy Equinox, and it's not necessarily that much more comfortable from behind the wheel. And this diesel engine, though extremely efficient, is extremely loud and rattly both inside and out. Who should buy it? Well, the GMC terrain, both inside and out, does give you nicer styling and a nicer feature set than you might find in an equivalent Chevy Equinox. And this diesel engine is really, really impressive when it comes to fuel economy and everyday drivability. So if you're looking for a compact crossover but want something that's a little bit of a step up, well, the terrain is worth considering. If you were paying attention, you might have noticed I was wearing a new watch. This is the Strat 3, designed by famed Formula One technical illustrator Giorgio Piola. To find out more, visit GiorgioPiola.com.